Hi guys, I'm back from another video and welcome to Relit and Gasha. Hi guys, hello. Okay, so today guys is a bit of a random video. Now, I did just stumble across this randomly. I was just searching through YouTube and I happened to come across a thing called the British tag. And I was like, well, I'm funnily enough British. So I thought I would do this video and do like the British tag because you know, I do love me some tag videos and I thought, well today, let's just have a bit of fun. Let's just go, let's just go. I'm very British. British, apparently. How many cups of tea do you have a day and how much sugar do you have? Now I'm gonna kind of like break this mold already because I, I mean really, I only have sort of like maybe one a day because I'm more of a coffee kind of person. <laughs> But I will say one thing, I like, although I, ha I don't really have that much tea, I kind of have like an obsession with tea in the sense of, I have loads in the house, like it's not like we just have one. We have this like whole cupboard just full of like loads of different flavours, like green teas, peppermint teas, like fruit teas and Yorkshire tea. And like, ever that was a terrible accent, I promise I'll never do it again. And when it comes to sugar, I don't actually measure how much I put in, I just kind of like pour it into my cup and not really think about, oh this is like one or two teaspoons, it's probably about seven. Can I say one thing, these people who put the milk in first, on their tea bags. Like, I'm, I want to know what on earth is wrong with you. If you put your milk in first, we cannot be friends. Okay, we cannot be friends. <laughs> Favourite British pastime? Killing chavs. Favourite dunking biscuit. Okay, so my favourite one is has to be a custard cream. Although I have to say, I don't eat them that often because they're literally just fat. You might as well just eat butter. And they don't break off when you dunk it in. Like, not none of this rich tea shit where you sort of put it in and like after a couple seconds it just breaks apart and the biscuit falls into the cup. No. Favourite word. Cunt. What is your favourite part of a roast? Okay, so my favourite part probably is like Yorkshire puddings. I do love them so much. And stuffing, oh my god, I love me some good old stuffing. Just, yeah. Although the gravy as well is quite a nice. I just like a fucking roast, okay, people? Don't, that, that could be so disgusting. And then like the dessert afterwards, like the dessert. Like I love the dessert. No, I don't know. I love everything. Cockney rhyming slang. Ew. Favourite sweet. Now the funny thing is actually, my favourite sweet isn't English, it's a Butterfinger, but obviously it's American, well I'm assuming, it's, well it is American, but I don't know if you're like, yeah. What's a British sweet that I love? I don't know. What's an English one? Well, there's original apparently. <laughs> I think they're fucking gross. What would your pub be called? Now, first of all, let me just say, there were no pubs, thank you. I'm not into pubs, okay? If I've had anything like that, it would be like a nightclub because I am not into that sitting down, you know, let's just have a chat. I want to rave, I want to jump around like a mad bitch. And I'd call it something like, I don't know what this is, but, um, Fagalicious or something like that. Number one British person. This is awkward. Favourite shop slash restaurant? KFC! <laughs> That's not, again, it's not really British, is it? But KFC, 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 KFC. If you don't sponsor me soon, I will kill you. I'll convert to Burger King. What British song pops into your head? Bah, anything by Spice Girls. Spice Girls, because when you think of like me and British songs, I think of Spice Girls. I don't know anything really relevant now because like most of my music comes from Germany. So um, British pop songs can be Spice Girls. This video is a fucking mess, guys. I'm sorry. I'm in a weird mood and I'm trying to film before it gets dark and it's just like, <sighs> Marmite, leave, leave. If any of you eat Marmite, leave. It's the most repulsive thing I have ever, so I'm very passionate about this. <laughs> it's absolutely repulsive and if any of you eat it near me I will tell you to leave. Some other Britishy things, I love some scones and cream and crumpets, like if people want to start being all bloody. Oh, tea you have known, how about that? Can I just, oh yeah, this <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about anymore, guys, if I'm honest. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a bit of a mess, to be honest. But, you know, a bit of fun. It's always a bit of fun. Anyway, I love you guys. And make sure you hit that like button, because it does really help me out. And share with all your friends and all that good kind of stuff. And come and follow me on all my social medias. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All the links are in the description. I update them all the time. So it's really good if you come follow me. And we can be friends and all that good kind of stuff. Okay, but as always, guys, be proud as amazing, be gay. Be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch that they take on be you, because you are flawless. Yes! Ungasha! Where will I be? What would I do?
If you never helps me through